Brienne of Tarth. Uh, a lot of people think th- she's ugly. I'm feeling a uh, I'm feeling a Sansa repeat video right here. A lot of people think well, Brienne of Tarth. I mean in the sense of pissing people off. Mm. Uh, Brienne of Tarth is a really good character, and she is incompetent, is basically the one word to sum her up. Incompetent. She is like the most good-intentioned individual, but she is like stabbing into the dark blindly, just thinking, I shall do good! I shall do good! <laughs> no, I don't! Doing have the ability to understand or conceive any thoughts properly. Yeah, she is basically, if you took Ned Stark and you kept all the honor and then you took every other positive aspect away, you would have Brienne of Tarth. Mm -hmm. The person who everyone she guards dies. Let's see. She had, first was Renly. Uh, killed by <laughs> killed by a shadow demon. All right, I get it. I get it. It's a little difficult to stop a shadow yeah, demon. Yeah, we will. We will. We will concede I'll give that you the, the grade of difficulty of there might have been just a little bit over her head, as well as many I'll, people. I'll give her the benefit of the doubt for that one. She's Catelyn in the Stark. Okay. Uh, asks her to do a favor. So Brienne of Tarth, after specifically saying she wants to be a protector of a certain person, Catelyn, is not even present when Catelyn's throw and entire family get completely massacred, with the exception of Sansa and Arya. Uh, and then, you know, escorting Jamie Lannister. What was her task? To get Jamie Lannister in how many pieces? One piece back to King's Landing. Well, she did get him back in one piece. It just so happens that there it's was a, a sm- piece missing. It's a smaller piece. <laughs> he, is now, he is still one piece. There is now a piece that is no longer a piece of him. She proceeded to get in a... First of all, I mean, she's dumb, but Catelyn is also dumb. So she chose another dumb person, and the two of them combined their dumb to create more dumb. She, <laughs> she is like the epitome of like the 19... 19- 82 dumb big jock who played football but didn't have a brain just like oh, do whatever you say coach <clears throat> but instead of having a penis has a vagina yeah but still only, same height and weight only the ones from 1982 <laughs> Yes. Okay. 83 was a much better product. <laughs> the jocks in 83 were much more adapted. Yeah, they were a very cerebral breed. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, Brienne of Tarth basically just isn't good at accomplishing anything. She, you know, even in the most recent... No, no, she is very good at something. Fucking everything up? Well, man, you just stole my thunder. <laughs> <laughs> that, uh, so much for the build-up. But uh, she, even at the most recent season... She had the task of finding Arya and finding Sansa. Well, she did find Arya for about three yeah. minutes and then let the 10-year-old escape. Yes, the 10-year-old escaped, which she blamed on her squire, who is pretty obviously not capable. Podrick. Uh, so <laughs> the kind? bumbling fool. Where and, and you know, go, Podrick? The, uh, oh, know, I don't know. <laughs> you know what the sad part is? is Podrick's actually very intelligent in comparison to a lot of yeah. the characters. But, I mean, squiring might just be a little bit out of his skill set. Yeah. Now, if you're looking for a four-star chef, <laughs> this bitch has got it down. Yes. He will make you creme brulee with squirrel. And then oh, I oh, liked oh. little fat Podrick, too, that was with Arya. <laughs> he also was a good cook. Little fat Podrick. <laughs> anyway, we're digressing. Oh. So, you know, Brienne of Tarth, she was supposed to find the Stark children after, you know, after she failed her three missions... Uh, her fourth mission was to find Arya and find Sansa. Arya escapes, and she kills the Hound, who I really liked. No. Presumably kills the Hound. And the best part is, not only does she escape, but it's not like she darted through a tunnel or drifted off into the shadows. She literally just walked over to the guy, to the Hound. It's like, all right, well, I'm taking your money, and then I'm just going to kind of walk off. Yeah. It wasn't some... 
mastery of tricks. Yeah. It was just, no, I'm just going to walk away now. And the only real reason she even beat the hound was because he was screwing around with her. You and know? on top of that, he was already suffering from an infection that was weakening him Very to begin true. with. So, and, you know. But, you know, I'm not going to say she's a bad fighter. She did prove to be an okay fighter. I mean, mm-hmm. ja- she beat Jamie Lannister. Again, everyone she fights seems to have been through a shitty situation before the fight. You know, <laughs> Jamie had eaten and was dragged through the mud and was all fucked up. Um, and then the hound was, you know, infected or whatever. Mm. But, you know, then she ends up finding Sansa. And her tactic to find Sansa is to stare at a tower, you know, where she's waiting for a signal or some shit, right? To go get <laughs> Sansa. And then it ends up getting completely sidetracked and going to kill Stannis. So, and does she even kill Stannis? Who the hell knows? Because we never saw it. And the excuse for not seeing it from the directors is pretty shit. So Stannis is probably coming back. So I'm going to go ahead and give her failure number four for killing Stannis. Because he's going to come back somehow. And God knows if I can bet against anyone in that show, Brienne of Tarth is a sure bet. (laughs) (laughs) You know, if there's one thing I've learned in life from meeting people is stupidity is definitely a hindrance. (laughs) But focused stupid people can still achieve something. Unfortunately, she's stupid and completely unable to focus. <laughs> <laughs> she probably missed her, her uh, final slash on Stannis and her sword got stuck in the tree and he rolled away. <laughs> I wouldn't even be surprised if that is a real thing that She's happens. like going to be standing above him going to give the death thrust and then she's just going to be like, huh, tumbleweed. <laughs> yeah so did you see that she sucks she really sucks she would be a good soldier if you added her into just a regular army and she had a task and had to run straight at the enemy she'd do pretty well yeah if you could just strap a helmet onto that yeah. little bundle of uh and just tell her to run through the wall but you're good to go she sure as hell cannot even be a bodyguard without fucking it up Ah, it's like she's like sitting there and she's reading the paper while you're getting your throat slit. Pretty like, much. So that's, you know, that's pretty much it. She's pretty dumb. I'm going to call I'm going to call it. She's pretty dumb. Line. Brienne of Tarth is not a hunk. <laughs> what she said. Okay. And she's a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Next character. <laughs> Not to mention, I mean, uh, for the guys in the room, it's really hard, and I mean, really hard, to get behind somebody who cuts off another man's penis. Yeah. He's not super likable, 